to another lesson. In this lesson, we will do some testing. So let's go right into it. Um, so we're going to add an attribute to our button here called data test ID. And this is one way we can test the existence or we can query um, a component uh, in uh, the React testing library uh, that has been installed by default here. So what we're going to, what will be the name? We're going to name it add contact button. Now, let's fire up our test. So, yarn test. All of them. And we see that it fails. Yeah. Because it is trying to look for this uh, text. But you can't find it. It wanted to be in the document, but it's not there. So we want to modify this test. What we'll do is we're going to use the query by test ID. And we want to look for that button called the add contact. Let me see what, what was the name? Button. So that's it. So add contact button. And we expect it to be in the this app in the document. So it should wait, it should pass. Yeah, it passed. So let's change this. Let's call it expect. Add content button to be in app component all right now we are going to add another component um, as a drawer a drawer that when we click on this button will open on the right side of the page so let's create uh, Let's create a component for that. So add, you know what? Let me just call it drawer. Oh, JS, oh, sorry. RFC, let me see. How this utility I can use to scaffold to RFC, okay. So call it, add drawer now you see this prop types here this prop types prop types will enable us to define the properties that we expect in to be passed to this add drawer and to use that you need to install prop types so you can do um let me you can do yarn add prop types or npm install prop types save that as save and we should add it and we can use it so i've already installed let's but you have to install it so since initially we didn't install you have to install it now to use it okay so what are the options or the attributes we want we want two of them we want show and the show should be a boolean and it's required then we want another one which is a handle on close which is a function that will be used to do the closing of the drawer and it's a function so properties of fun dot is required now let's export the add drawer let's change this to const No, that's yeah. Mm. 
Is, am I doing something wrong? Yeah, I think I'm doing something wrong. Let's do it uh, default. Let's, let's do it default. And I think we should change this one too. So let's do it. Uh, add drawer. And that's it. Now we are going to import a drawer from uh, the ant component. So import drawer from ant D. So let's bring in the props. So show and handle close. Now let me do it. Okay, let's and let's put something here. See which one content here. Okay. Now there are some properties we have to pass to the drawer. For example when it should show so visible and we are going to use the show property to do that toggling now it also needs an own close and uh, we use the handle here um, let's see if there is any other required props that we can uh, all right so there is one that i want us to add so mask closable. This mask closable will make sure that when we click outside of uh, the um, page, like outside the, the drawer, it will not close it. But rather, we have to click on the close icon before uh, it close closes it. So let's say mask closable falls. Now, this can then be imported into our app. To import a drawer and we can use it here but let me wrap all these inside a fragment all right now this expects two things the show and the handle uh, close so what we will do is so you see we, we are getting uh, something here it says failed props even the text is telling us that we need to pass handle props to to to, to it which has been described here so let's we're going to use a hook the the use state hook from react so use state we're going to define use state so to call it so let's say show drawer set show drawer and by default it should not show it shouldn't show so we're going to pass this to the show property and when we change this and it becomes false it will pass it to it and this will show if it's sorry true to pass and it will show if it's false pass and it will not show then we will use this set show function here to do the close then the opening so if you want to close it we want to pass this function that will set it to false so when we are using this handle close inside the component it's going to trigger this and it to set it to false and now it will not show but we want to add an on click to this button and we want to use it to show so we pass it through to it and it to show it let's see if it works to that we will come back to add in some more test all right so it's here all right it seems like it looks weird there is something that we can add so there is a title property that we can use to add. we can use to provide a title for the drawer so add contacts add contact yeah and let's go back and see how it will look yeah 
so now we have this nice closable icon here we have this add content you can actually remove this using the closable property on the drawer we are not going to do that now let's see some when we click outside you see it's not closing it's because we've done this but when we set it to true which is actually the default and we open and we close outside it will close it all right so that's it let's let's do some tests so what we want to do is we want to by default we don't want the add drawer component to be in the app component we don't want it to be in it now the add drawer component has well it has it does not have a test id so we're going to add one okay so let's go to add contact drawer add contact drawer wow. so we will use that to query and check if it is in the app uh, component so we expect the drawer component not to be in the app component on render so by default it shouldn't be so it should only show it should only be in it when we click on the uh, add button so we want to query for the add contact drawer and we don't want it to be in the document by default so let's see if it passes and close this yeah it passes so by default it doesn't show so what we want to do is we want to click on the button this uh, add contact button yeah which means that we don't actually need yeah we sorry we need to rename this this is add contact drawer yeah so now we're not going to test for the existence of the add contact button because it has been tested here what we want to do we want to fire a click event so fire event which comes from the testing library we want to fire a click sorry on this and then so we would want to test the existence now we want to see now we want to check and see that it is in the document so expert drawer to be in it all right let's see what happens okay we have a problem so we are actually querying the drawer here. we have to query the button so we query the button we click on it like this then we query the drawer and we want it to be in the document in the app document and uh, we have a problem so it says what value must be oh no so all right add to add contact draw let's see to add contact draw uh, with the test id add contact draw query add contact draw i wanted to want to see it hmm but it seems like it can it's not found it's not in it it's received now query test for this hmm. okay um let me do something let me test an assumption And see if this won't work. 
Okay, still going away. All right, so let's do something else to also test. Let's move this into here. Let's pass it directly to this drawer and let's see if that one works. Okay, so uh, this one works. We pass it to the drawer itself and in the test we when we click we are expecting to see it in the document so that one works so all the three tests passes all right so now we have a component two components that work and test that work so enough about testing and integration and stuff in the next lesson we will start building up our ui properly so in the next lesson, we will look at the drawer, uh, the add drawer, and see how we can add some um, form and inputs to accept data for the contact and then add in them.